Hey, for this quick tip, um, we're going to talk about a product that helps if you're using the, the Mopeka propane monitor that attaches to the bottom of your tank. So stick around. So the Mopeka propane monitor is actually magnetically attached to the bottom of the tank here. And our tank, like most fifth wheels, is just sitting on a little shelf there. Well, in order to keep your Mopeka from hitting that shelf, they give you these little risers and... You know, as you shake and rattle going down the road, these tend to buckle and break, especially when you take your tanks off uh, to get them uh, filled up. Uh, I have a solution. So this is from the same company that makes and distributes the Mopeka uh, propane monitor. It is the Tank Halo. And that's gonna snap right on to the bottom and it's gonna give you the lift that you need. Also, it's nice and rubber, so it's going to keep, you know, the rattle and shake down and give you a little bit more uh, stability with your tanks and they won't slide as much. So, well, and they won't slide when they're in there. So anyway, a really quick install. We'll show you what it looks like. Okay, this is a super easy install, uh, but before we get started, I want to give you a pro tip. Um, when you're walking under this, be careful. <laughs> I just smacked my head. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this tank out, put the ring on, and we'll show you how that's done. Okay, again, so our, the propane tank just rests on this bracket here. And the, the challenge is, and you can see where the ring is for the tank, the challenge is when you have the Mopeka on the bottom of the tank where it comes out like this, um, it has a tendency to to rub on here. So you definitely want to make sure that you're elevating that. And that's why they give you the little brackets. So here's the little brackets and you can see how this one's already bent out uh, just from vibration. So <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess they do they do keep it, you know, but anyway, so here's the Mopeka, the bottom of the tank. As you see, I flipped my tank over and I put a little piece of painter's tape on there just because, I mean, the, the magnet that holds this on is really strong, but I don't want to lose it down the road. You can see, I mean, there's holes on this side, holes on this side. If it ever got loose, it's, it's going to be on the highway. Um, so anyway there's that so if you use the mopeka tell me what you do to keep that on um so this bent obviously and this one's bent also so we're going to replace it with uh with the ring all right so we got all the little uh brackets and you can see the groove <laughs> it's really just this simple you just put it on there and now you've got enough elevation that it's gonna keep the uh, Mopeka from hitting that little deck. And the no skid surface uh, is going to uh, keep your tank a little bit more secure. All right, let's put the tank back in. Okay, so uh, we also, as you guys know if you watch our videos uh, we use the gas stop so when we put our tank in we need to have our tank kind of with the valve facing the corner so that because the gas stop extends your hose out that far so we have to have the hose facing the corner and um, but tanks nice and secure everything still fits we got plenty of height and the nice thing is now with this I'm not concerned about the Mopeka device uh, touching 
and this isn't going to rattle as much, which would make it come off. So.